800 new jobs at Robbins Air Force Base. But what does that actually mean for the community? And what does that mean for you? We're gonna find out. What's up and welcome back to another video. My name is Misha Thompson, your favorite Warner Robbins real estate agent. And today we're gonna dive into what impact the hiring spree of Warner Robbins Air Force Base actually has on the whole community as well as you. Big news came out a couple of months ago for Warner Robins in the surrounding area. Robins Air Force Base is on a hiring spree and they are hiring 800 new employees as part of their expanding mission initiative. This hiring spree of the largest employer in the state of Georgia is poised to bring significant changes and benefits to the local community. These new positions span a wide range of roles. Not only engineers, plumbers, and financial managers, but there are many more positions Robbins Air Force Space needs to fill due to that expansion of 800 new employees. It is supposed to be a very diverse hiring initiative that aims for strengthening the basis capabilities as well as the growth of the oncoming mission. The deputy director of the mission support group at Robbins Air Force Base, Robert Hubs, stated in an interview that you would be joining a team that is protecting our country and safeguard our freedom. But what does all of that actually mean for our local community here in Warner Robbins? I know for a fact that a lot of people out there already think Warner Robbins is full. They don't want people to move here. But to be honest, with 800 new jobs, we cannot change change that. People are going to move to the Warner Robins Middle Georgia area because of new jobs. We can not and we won't stop it because firstly, this is a great thing that happens to our community because it will give us an economical boost that everyone here in Warner Robins will profit from. Retail stores, restaurants, and all the mom and pop stores will also make more money and see more business. That is just how the whole economics will pan out. Schools will see more families move into the areas, more kids, so it will bring more tax revenue to the city and the county, which will help to increase the quality of life here in the Warner Robins area. And if you think about it, 800 jobs is quite a big and substantial amount of people, new jobs. Warner Robins last census, we had 77,000 people as a population of the city of Warner Robins. Of course, the county has a little bit more. And 32,000 already work on Robins Air Force Base. More income will be produced and more income will be put back into the local economy, which hopefully leads to a better infrastructure that we actually desperately need. Warner Robins is already known for its very strong community spirit and the affordable living. So 800 more jobs with new people moving in will probably increase the vibrancy here in the Warner Robins area and people will bring new ideas, fresh faces to the area and build our community the way it is supposed to be built. And we all know that there is a strong community feeling with armed forces here in the Warner Robins area and the community is a tight knit community. That hopefully doesn't change. We should be welcoming new residents to Warner Robins, new energy, new ideas, and they will enrich our community fabric. From a real estate market perspective, this hiring spree is great news for all homeowners. And the reason for that is people are moving to the areas, people want to buy homes. That means our home prices are going to stay steady or they're gonna go up a little bit, which is great news for all homeowners <laughs> out there. For home buyers, there might be coming a little bit more competition over the next couple of years, but it's a good thing if our property values go up. On that note, that also helps for new developments. And I mean, we don't really need much more new developments because we got a whole bunch of homes that are being built here in the area. Hopefully the city is gonna catch on to the trend and we gonna get some developments that actually make sense other than car washes, gas stations, oil changing places every 500 yards. Because that, in my opinion, does not make any sense. Let me know what you think, or maybe you want some more car washes and gas stations and all that other stuff that does not make sense.
For new families, if you are moving into the area because of the new jobs, first of all, welcome. Second, what you get here is a lot. You are in the middle of the state. You go to vacation in hours. It's just a very convenient spot to be in. On top of that, you do have some amenities that make living a lot easier here. And hopefully that development will increase with the city, putting more money into some walkable areas, which there is a project for that as well. However, with all the positives that come with the expansion, it is important for us to think about the downsides that those 800 new jobs bring to the community. Well, one downside is probably that our infrastructure, if it's not getting upgraded and updated, is gonna be on a brink of collapse because Watson is already horrible. There needs something to be done. Russell is getting worse and 96 is getting worse. So the infrastructure when it comes to traffic is already not the best and we need some kind of infrastructure upgrade to keep it. So traffic jams might be more common than there are already are. We need more personnel because with more families moving to the area, we might have a little bit of an issue with service. When it comes to customer service, doesn't matter if it's the city or other places because we have quite a bit of an influx. It is an upside for the homeowners, but it might be a downside for everyone buying a home. It might be a little bit more difficult. We need to keep those downsides in mind. It is very important because we need to make changes. This was my breakdown with the expansion of Robbins Air Force Base. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's a good thing? It's a bad thing. If you are moving to the area, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help you with all your real estate needs. And if you have any questions, reach out anyway. I'm here to help. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment, smash the like button. And if you have not already, Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.